What is going on everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be going over how to add and edit indicators on the Webolt desktop platform. So what we're going to be talking about is what I have here shown already, and then we'll go and show you guys how I've added these indicators, how you can do the same, how you can customize this however you would like. Real quick, if you have any questions about how I created this desktop layout, I have a video going over how to create a customized layout. Look that up on my Webolt playlist here on the channel if you have any questions after this video. So really quick, what we have is we have a chart pulled up. So I'm going to click on this indicator tab right here. So we're going to be able to go into indicators and edit things and all all that fun stuff. So what we have really quick, and I want to talk about this, is I currently have on the chart, VWAP is not showing because I'm looking at the daily chart. When I zoom in, I'll show you guys what that looks like. The MA. So we have the MA50 and the MA200, also known as the simple moving averages. These are these lines right here. So the 50 MA, the 200 MA. We're looking at BLNK right now. And what I like to use is I like to use the 50 MA generally sometimes as support when you're above it and it could be resistance when you are below it. So it's kind of helpful. Certain stocks will respect it better than others. Every stock is gonna be different, but these are the type of indicators that I like to look at for the stocks that I trade. This one kind of doesn't fit the perfect mold of most of the stocks that I trade, but again, everyone's gonna be different. So when I zoom in, we're gonna see this white line. That's the VWAP, the volume weighted average price. That's what you'll see in there, and I use the settings of the 14 that they have in there. So let's go back to the daily chart to make things simple so you guys can see things very clear. How do you do this? How do you add these things? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at, you can look at all indicators, and I can have everything that I want to pull up. And there's a lot of stuff here that, to be honest, I don't even know, like how half of these things work. But what I'm going to do is go to edit indicators, and so you can find what works for you. And really, when it comes to indicators, you don't have to have a ton of different things on your chart. Have what works for you, have it simple, keep it simple, don't have a thousand indicators and think that every stock is gonna respect it, you know, like it must. Trading is an art, it's not an exact science, so it's not gonna be perfect. But you can click on what you wanna click on. So right now I have MAs, okay? Then from here, we can go into the moving averages, simple or simple moving averages, it's the same thing that I want. So I have the 50 and the 200. The reason why I have a bunch of other ones here is because if we go to the style, we can then select what I want to show on the chart and what color. So I don't have these selected. That's why there's some that kind of overlap. I don't have them selected. That's why. And then what we can do is from there, it gives you kind of an introduction as to what this actually is. So that's kind of helpful. And I think that's very helpful if you want to just kind of go in here and, and just take a look at what, what we will has to offer and learn a couple things about some indicators and find maybe what works best for you. From there, you can go to EMAs, exponential moving averages. It's the same exact pretty much thing. Put your links in, style, things like that. I don't have them selected because I don't use them, at least for most of my trades. Then I have VWAP again like that. Like I said, go through, pick what you want. From there, I have the RSI. So if I click on this, I have RSI on the bottom here. I click on RSI. I use 14 as the one that's actually being shown on the chart, and I have it down here in this color. You can, of course, customize it however you would like. With the chart comes volume already, kind of these volume bars on the chart. But if I click on volume, you're going to get an additional kind of feature here, which is going to be kind of helpful if you want to see it, and it will give you more accurate numbers on the bottom of the volume. So if you want to have that, that's helpful as well. I don't need that personally. Um, that's just not something that I use that, that much. I'll, I'll look at these volume bars for sure, but I don't need to see the um, detailed things like that. MACD, you can pick MACD right here. Here are the MACD settings that's currently being shown. You can customize this however you would like. For me, I would probably just leave it myself and just use it kind of as another tool. So when I say as a tool, trading guys, like I say, it's not, not an exact science. All it's going to really kind of show me is are we making some moves up? what's kind of happening now. Right now we may be starting to peak out and maybe coming down on this specific play, but we'll see what happens. This is kind of a good a good indicator just to kind of get a sense of the momentum. And of course, all these indicators, what you want to be looking at is looking at different time frames. So, okay, just because we're almost oversold or overbought on the RSI on the daily chart, well, if I go back to the one hour chart, you know, we're not, we're not overbought. We're kind of, you know, in, in between. And if I go to the one day, one minute chart, it's going to tell a different story. Yes, we're, we're kind of overbought. And so every indicator is going to tell a different story on every time frame. Just understand that going in. So if you have any questions, make sure you have this indicator section clicked up on the chart, because if you don't, you're going to be like, what do I do? And then from from here you can go to different chart settings. So what I'm going to do here is I can go to chart settings kind of different from indicators, but if you have any questions, I'll just kind of touch on this really quick. So the chart display, um, you can kind of show a different, a bunch of different things. Like if I didn't want to show volume, I don't have to show volume and I can add the indicator myself. So I have it there. It's fine. 
Then what you can do is do the line style. So I, I use hollow candles and Heikinashi candles. So Heikinashi is there, hollow candle is here. Look up what Heikinashi actually means online to get a better sense for it. It kind of just helps with trends. I would use it more on a one day, one minute time frame to kind of get a sense for momentum if I was gonna be day trading something. Other than that though, I like hollow candles a lot for kind of finding the gaps, finding support and resistance levels. It's up to you. I use Heiken Asha, I use hollow candles. Um, if you don't like candles, you can use lines. I mean, I would, wouldn't recommend lines because I don't think it tells you the full story, but you can always use lines, area charts. Uh, you can use the candles, the, the non-hollow candles. I like hollow candles just to look to be honest, looks a little better to me. Um, this bar graphs, you can look at everything. Everything, they have a lot of different options here, colored bars. I know people who use this, I know people who use just lines, everyone's different. I'll personally use hollow candles. And then I have these selected down here to show all the earnings, dividends, and splits on the chart. So hope that makes sense. Hope that was a quick tutorial on how to add and edit indicators. Make sure your indicators are selected before you go back to the chart and see that they're not there. If they're not selected, they're not gonna be showing up. And if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. Make sure to grab your two free stock with the link down below to get Weeble. Sign up, deposit $100, get two free stocks from eight to $1,600 in value. If that promotion ends, it's gonna be one free stock or just check the current promotion at the time. That's what's happening at the current time I'm filming this video. So take advantage of that if it is still around because it will not be around forever. Hope you guys got something out of this video. If you have any more questions or wanna see any more tutorials, go to my Weeble playlist and hopefully can answer a bunch of questions there. I appreciate every single one of you guys who hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.